So this is our best uh, multimeter on the shelf. And as you can see, it has it comes with an attachment of a really small um, pin head for the multimeter. So with this setup, you can reach a really hard to reach teeny resistor and filters on iPhone 6 and iPad Air. Um, this multimeter also comes with a bunch of other functions. You can actually uh, measure capacitance with this multimeter. So if you do have you fix TVs or monitors, you can use it to measure the Farad uh, capacitance. They also measure temperatures. Uh, it comes with a temperature probe. You have to plug it in, but unfortunately the design of this uh, multimeter is that you can either measure temperature or uh, resistance and rest of the other multimeter functions one or the other you can measure temperature and the other functions at the same time so you have to switch uh, the ground uh, back and forth if you do use the temperature probe but um, for my primary use I rarely use this for measuring temperature unless you want to um, this is the best for measuring resistance because you can attach really small fine uh, needle we sell these needles separately when you buy this multimeter it's going to come with the, um, the alligator attachment and the needles uh, but if you want to get more of these needles you can buy them separately from our website cyber.lc.com uh, another way I use these are you can also use a pick so you just attach the alligator onto the pick um, and it works the same as of the needle so if you're not walking on really really fine stuff careful with these needles by the way they they can stab you um, you will bleed if you get stabbed okay so you attach it like this as such that will allow you to measure resistance uh, with the pegs which is also very fine but not as fine as the needle obviously uh, you could you could get a lot of work done this way it doesn't really give you exact measurement because due to the resistance of the attachment that you put onto, so this is not perfect um, resistance measurement. It's not it's not good for measurement. But if you're testing for con connectivity and you're just testing if the thread is open or closed, this is a great way to do it. And I can't really think of any other way to do this unless you have a really really micro um, probe. But I don't think they sell those either. So this is the best way to do it, in my opinion. Uh, either attach to a pin or picks. Okay, it depends on the size of the measurement. And the good thing about this multimeter is that it turns off on its own. You can you can turn off by uh, manipulating this dial. It also turns off on its own over time, so you don't run out of uh, battery. Uh, this is the speaker where it's pretty loud as you can hear this is a little light sensor I don't really use it but if you do want to find out how many lumen um, your light bulbs or sunlight is it does have a uh, I guess over there you ha it can measure lux in the lumen uh, you can measure how, mu how much lux in the light so you can measure light uh, for example I can I set it to the lux setting and now it's about 200 lux if I turn off the light as I ding one of the light bulb you can see that the lux drop drop significantly and if I turn on the light it go back to 200 so it's pretty useful for you have to, yeah, the probe has to be directly pointed to the light, obviously. It's useful, but it's just not for my use. Um, I'm sure uh, you have use for this, but anyway, this is a great multimeter. This is pretty much my primary multimeter that I use, in case you're wondering. Okay, so that's it. That's the product review for um, the Professional Pro multimeter that I use. It does come with a regular multimeter probe, like, hold on, like this one. 
but I don't really use it. I just put it aside and I set up with these connector, alligator connector instead. So yeah, you, what you're gonna get is you're gonna get um, the alligator set up, and you're also gonna get one of two of these uh, really fine needle probes. That's gonna come with the alligators, and you're also gonna get to a set of uh, these probe, the traditional probe that comes with the multimeter. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time in my next product review.